Hello there guys, UltraGamer64 here, and today I've got a new episode of UltraGamer Talks About. This is the series where you guys can request anything you want me to talk about, and I will give my personal experience, my insight, and pretty much anything you guys need to know on the topic. So, this week I've choos chosen to talk about social anxiety, and basically all that comes with it, and how to possibly deal with it, and what I've been told by other people that tried to help me, because I do have... Um, in some cases minor social anxiety, and in some cases major social anxiety. So hopefully I will be able to help some of you guys out and be able to get past this, and hopefully just to help you guys maybe be more social and try to help you just to try and get out there. Um, before we start talking about the topic, I would like to point out that if you notice a difference in the quality and audio quality of this camera, um, I'm trying to break in this new camera, um, trying to see if it'll work for Ultra Gamer Talks About, Ultra Impressions, vlogs, mini vlogs, anything that happens on this channel. Um, I got a new camera, and I'm trying to see how it works, um, how it might integrate into the channel, how I might be able to use it properly. So if you guys notice a difference in any type of quality, then that is why. And this is the first video to be tested with this new camera. But, without further ado, let's get into the topic. So, social anxiety is a very, very crippling and kind of a crappy thing to have. Um, it can be as extreme as keeping you from going outside, and it can be as minor as keeping you from maybe not wanting to go to school for a day. I mean, there's different levels of it, and it's kind of hard to pinpoint your level. It's just kind of what you personally feel comfortable with and what you personally don't. So, just try to keep that in mind, like, social anxiety is different for most everybody. Just those different levels and different things that make you feel uncomfortable. Um, I'll give you some examples with me. I hate going to school. I do not like to be around my classmates or trying to socialize with them. I don't like being around those people. Um, my family, no problem being around them. I love being around my family. Any family, um, even from cousins, I, I'm i fine with being around family for some reason. Even if it's a cousin I've never met, um, I would be perfectly fine around them. But it's just those people that I don't really know and that I will be around a lot that kind of scare me and don't make me want to socialize with them. Say, for example, well, this is actually happening, um, this upcoming school year, I'm going to a new school from my old one. It's like this big school, and it kind of has member schools or whatever, but I'm going to a new school, and there's going to be a lot of new people there, and I'm honestly terrified, because I know that I may do something to make an idiot of myself. I may look weird, I may be, I don't know, something might happen, and that's always a thought in the back of my mind, just like, these people don't know you, and they may judge, or they may make you feel like crap or something, and I don't want to deal with that, so to be quite honest, I'm terrified, but I'm excited as well. Because I'm going to a new school, I'm going to get to follow my career choice, I'm going to get to follow my dreams and all that stuff. But it's just that social part that makes me kind of hate it, and kind of hate the transition. Because sure, at my old school, I hated going because I had to talk to people, but at least I knew who they were, and who to possibly talk to if I had to, and possibly not. Um, I don't know anything about any of these people at this new school. So, that's kind of hard to try and determine, okay, maybe I should talk to this person if I have to, maybe I shouldn't, I don't really know. I've got to get that read on people, you know? So, um, getting back on the topic of social anxiety, anyways. Um, I do not like being around people that I don't really know. Um, I don't like being around people that I do know and that I don't like because they could possibly say something, or I can make an idiot of myself, or something like that. Um, it's never been so bad that I wanted to not leave my house or anything, but there can be certain 
symptoms that can come about with social anxiety. Um, for example, with me, I tend to shake a little bit in my hands. I don't know. I thought that I would shake a little bit, but I'm not. My hand is super steady right now for some reason. I'm getting off track. Um, I tend to sweat a little bit, and if it is extremely bad, I tend to freeze, or what I call a lockup, where I would just stand there and not do anything. That's happened twice to me. Um, it's never happened since. It's never happened before that. It happened twice, and that's so far that's the only two lockups I've had. But that's in like an extreme social situation where I just don't know what to do, and I lock up, and it kind of sucks. But um, what you guys should do, what I would suggest to you guys, um, if you feel this social anxiety and you feel like you're not really fitting in, not really getting into this social talking and everything, um, I heard this on a podcast that I listened to, and I can't really take credit for it, it's all them, um, but what he said, he basically said, make it into a game, and that's what I do with some things in my life, I just make it into a video game, so socializing and talking with people, make it into a sort of game. Go up to them, talk to them, and maybe give yourself 10 points, or 10 experience points, or 10 um, gold, or something like that. Record it on a sheet, and when you get, say, 100 gold, which would equal to talking to 10 people, you get a reward. Or you get 100 XP, and you get a reward, and then the next level, which would be level 2, you get, say, 500 XP, talk to 50 people, or something like that. Um, just something simple to try and trick yourself into socializing. I'm honestly scared to do this. I've never tried to do it. <laughs> I probably should, because I need to learn to socialize, but I've always been too scared and not really willing to take those steps, because I have become comfortable with social anxiety, and I and I just kind of live with it, you know? I've had it for so long, and I've hated socializing for so long, and it's just that thing I've gotten comfortable with it, but I don't want you guys to get comfortable with it, because I will admit, I've missed out on a few things that I would have liked to do um, because of my social anxiety. I'm not going to really list them off unless you guys want to know, but I have missed out on some things that I kind of wish that I would have done in a way. I don't know. Just kind of middle ground. But, um, getting back on topic, just try to make it into a game, and try to talk to people as much as you can, and don't be like me. Get out there, do something new, and don't lock up. Now, to finish out this story, I'm going to tell you guys what you should not do in a social situation. This was my second and latest lockup, and it was the last one I had. And I was actually doing a vlog at the time. It was at the Midwest Media Expo. And I got there the first day. I met One Shot Girl, which was friggin' awesome. That was amazing. I went to the different um, flea markets. I went to a few panels. I played the arcade games and everything. But that night, at 11, 11 p.m., um, there was this rave that was supposed to go on. And it lasted until, like, 2 or 3 in the morning, I think. And it was in this giant, like, ballroom. And it was insane. Um, I got in line, and it was, like, 5 to 10 minutes before the rave started. 5 minutes went by. 4 minutes went by. As the minutes go by, I started like, getting more nervous, and more scared, and more terrified of being in there with nobody, because I was there at the hotel with my dad, I mean, it's not like I can drive or anything and go there on my own, or go with friends or anything, so I was completely alone, because it was 11 p.m., my dad's asleep by this point, he was in our room just kind of chilling out, and I'm sure he doesn't want to go to a rave with a bunch of teenagers, so 
I was completely alone, and four minutes ticks by. Three minutes, two minutes, one minute. They open the doors, and I see all these people just kind of line up next to my line, and I realized there's a lot more people here than what I thought there was. Like, this hotel is huge. More people are in this hotel than I thought there were. And I was just standing against the wall, and I locked up. <laughs> that was so terrifying to me. Just thinking of being in that ballroom during a rave with all those people around me, and then potentially, like, saying something to me or trying to talk to me, or just doing anything. That terrified me. So I locked up, and I was in lock mode for like a minute and 30 seconds, two minutes. I didn't move. <laughs> I didn't talk. I didn't do anything. Like, the line was moving slightly. I didn't move. I didn't move with the line. I just stayed there. And when I finally got out of lock mode, I just went to the arcade and spent an hour and 30 minutes just playing games, trying to calm myself down. And it was a kind of, it was kind of a bad feeling. A bad thing to do. So, don't ever do that, guys. Do not ever do that. Um, make sure you own your social anxiety and throw it out the window. Don't keep it around. It sucks. Trust me. Um, in some ways, I think it's too late for me, but I know it's not too late for you guys. So, definitely try to talk to someone, um, anybody. Try to talk to anybody. Try to socialize as much as you can. I know you guys can do it. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this video off. If you enjoyed it, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming. Stay amazing. And I will see you guys next time.